Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Real Hill Life series. And as you guys can see, man, we are your boy Franklin. And today, in today's episode, man, we got us another little delivery job to go ahead and do. But in this episode, it's gonna be a little bit different, man. We got us some uh, some winter vehicles to go ahead and deliver, man. If you guys don't know, I did install the snowmobile mod, so we got a couple of snowmobiles to deliver. Now, Lester. Martin Madrazo and uh, Trevor Phillips, man, they all ordered um, some mo uh, snowmobiles for today. And really quick, man, before we even finish up with the episode, man, I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody who actually celebrates Christmas. Because I know there's a lot of people that don't celebrate Christmas. But if you do celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you. And if you don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Happy Hanukkah. There you go. All right, but we're going to go ahead and drive the, the Raptor, man. We're going to go ahead and take the Raptor. I was going to take the F-350, but we're going to go ahead and take the Raptor, man. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's hook up to this trailer because we got to make these deliveries. And we're also going to be getting one of these snowmobiles for ourselves. So we got four snowmobiles to pick up, but three of them are getting... Oh, come on now. I was about to say. And three of them are getting delivered. So um, we got to go ahead and pick up all four of them. And this snowy weather, we doing it, man. We doing it. All right, so here we go. We're going to make our way to Simeon's shop to go and pick up these... Uh, these snowmobiles, man. And I noticed a lot of you guys did like the fact that I was using this um, this mod here for uh, the blinkers and stuff, man. I let you guys know that I will continue to use that mod for as long as it's in my game. And as long as it works, I will continue to use it. Because it's actually pretty lit. I like it. I ain't even gonna lie, man. That mod is probably one of the best mods I've put in my game so far. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on down, man. We got, uh, yeah, we got four snowmobiles. All four of them are different colors, so we got specific colors that we got to drop off to uh, specific people. Hopefully, we don't forget and drop off the wrong colors, which we shouldn't do, man. We should we, we should be good. We should be good. Oh, wow. Our game just changed down, changed back to the blizzard weather. I don't even know why it changed from it, to be <laughs> to be honest, man. But, you know. Oh, shit. Look at me, man. Just, just slammed the hell out of my damn trailer. Yeah, man, we got it snowing out here, man. We in the snowy weather. We're probably going to do an episode where we play around with the snowmobile, too. I may have that go up today as well. So, you know, I'll have two snow day episodes go up for you guys today on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day! We're about to run some lights, man, because I ain't, I ain't really... I ain't trying to set up these lights and nothing like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man. Let's go ahead and keep on going. Hello there! Hello there! All right, man. Well, I must have seen me in shop. There's a cop right there, so I definitely will not be running this light. Freaking cop right there, bro. All right, we go. Let's go and keep on going. I just noticed my tail lights aren't working right now. I wonder if I gotta fix my truck or not, but I doubt it. If my tail lights aren't working, then they just aren't working. They normally work on this truck though, so I'm surprised that they aren't working. Got to see about that later. I ain't really too worried about it because if anything happens, we can just you know stop by the house real quick and switch to the F-350 if we got to. All right, so there we go, man. We're gonna be sitting behind a bunch of folks in joint. Yo, look at this dude. Look at this dude. All right, here we go, man. We're almost at Simeon Shop. Point three miles left. We go ahead and make our way. I'm about to go ahead and try and squeeze. Oh, it lights green. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. You see this? This is why I don't like the freaking go slow and follow freaking traffic laws. That dude would have had us sitting by that light for three and a half more years. All right, man. Well, we're putting up, send me in a shot. We're going to be able to load up all these snowmobiles. All right, here we go. I'm turning right in front of this Panamera. <laughs> he just called me an asshole. Oh, shit. All right, so there we go, man. Here are the four... Wow, somebody done parked their bike where my damn snowmobile was at. But we got four snowmobiles to go ahead and um, load onto the back of the uh, trailer here so we can go ahead and make these deliveries and drop-offs and stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know which ones are going where and uh, all of that good stuff, man. So let's go ahead and hop on. Well, actually, hold up. I almost forgot, man. I got to turn my four ways on because, you know, why the hell not? See, turn my four ways on. Now let me go ahead and uh, I gotta turn leave engine running. There we go. All right, here we go. So I got the truck on, leave it running, cause I want to keep my heat on, bro. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be cold when I hop back in there. 
But we do have the four snowmobiles to go ahead and deliver for this episode here, man. We're actually keeping the red one here, as you guys can see. The red one is Franklin's. The blue one is Lester's. The white one is uh, Martin Madrazo's. And the orange one here is uh, Trevor's. So we got to go ahead and we do have to drop all of these off at these different locations and stuff in this episode. So it's going to take us a little while to get this on a pop. But should be pretty fun, man. Should be pretty fun. And I hope they all can fit on there. They all should fit on there without any problems. So let's go ahead and get them loaded up. And uh, I'll see you guys in a split second once we get these guys loaded up. And we'll make the first delivery. All right, guys, we're back, and we got it loaded up. Got all four snowmobiles on the back of the uh, trailer here, ready to go ahead and get dropped off. Now, we have the white one and the Trevor's on there first. Why did Nuka make that mistake? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, man. So we're going to have to go ahead and drop off Mark Madrazo's first so that we can actually uh, drop off the rest of them. Now, we drop off Mark Madrazo's, then we're going to have to drop off uh, Trevor's because Martin's, right, Martin's house is, like, right here. Trevor's house is like way up here and then we're gonna come back down to Lester's house over here And then we'll be done to be able to go home here Now what I thought I could do was go to Lester first and then do Martin Madraza then Trevor and then come back home But now cuz Nuka made you know such a new new mistake. I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, drop off Martin's and Trevor's first so we got a lot of driving to do. All right, we got a lot of driving, a lot of delivery to do. So let's make our way on over here to uh, Madrazo's uh, place of uh, residence. And then we'll go ahead and drop off his. I think after I drop off Martin's, I, I may go ahead and drop, uh, go back and try and drop off Lester's instead. And then, uh, you know, follow the path that I was going to follow. So I may do it like that instead. Let's go ahead and see, man. We got to keep straight. There was no cops on that road, surprisingly. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode so far. If you are, man, make sure you guys drop that like button down below. Oh, I said drop that like button. What? How do you drop a like? What? Oh, wait, yeah, you can't drop a like, but still, man, hit that, hit that like button. That's what I meant to say. Oh, what the? Come on, now. It was pulling out in front of me and she... We got four snowmobiles on the back of this trailer right now, bro. I didn't even know if this was going to be able to work or not, but it, it obviously it does, okay? Obviously it does. Didn't think I was going to have enough room for all four is really what I was thinking. But then again, I said to look, man, I was like, yo, this trailer is actually pretty long. All four shouldn't be too difficult on a trailer like this. But let's hurry up, man. Let's hurry up. We're almost at Martin Madrazo's house. We got, what, 0.8 miles left until we reach his house so we can be able to drop his snowmobile left. You know, multi multi-millionaire wants his snowmobile today, man. Everybody wants their snowmobile. Oh, we need gas? Oh, shoot, net, man. Oh, there's a gas station right here. Yeah, I'm definitely about to go and get gas real quick. Was not thinking about that. Completely forgot all about gas because my speedometer is not even showing up. So I can't even see my gas meter even if I wanted to. All right, I'm going I'm to get in and out of my truck real quick, or get out and then get back in my truck real quick so I can see if I can get my speedometer to pop back up. Because I know that's more than likely uh, what it is. I just got to get my speedometer back in. Yep, there we go. Now my speedometer's back in. All I have to do is get out of my truck, get back in, and there you go. And for everybody that, that's wondering, man, if you have any questions about my... Uh, my fuel mod and stuff, because I, I noticed I've been seeing some questions lately, like some people are saying, why do I only pay a dollar for gas, or why do I don't pay gas? It's only taking a dollar, like, per second that it's refueling. If you watch my money while I'm getting gas, my money is constantly declining. So, there, it's taking a dollar, but it's rapidly taking a dollar. So, that, that's how that works. Because I notice most people, you're, you're just watching for that red symbol with the, the minus, do, uh, you know, X dollar amount. That, that's what you're really looking for, and... That, that's not going to show you how much money I, I spent on gas. It doesn't really tell you how much money I spent on gas. It just tells you that I'm taking the dollar out for every little usage part or whatever. I pay like, I have it set up to where we're paying like $2.30 per gallon of gas. That's how, that's how much gas costs in the state of Georgia at least. So that's what we're paying by. So just, for, just for everybody, just so everybody can know, man, that, that's how we got the uh, gas working. 
When is it gonna be our turn, man? Come on. Alright. What in the hell? How are you gonna go around me, dude? Come on now. Wait your turn, you bum. Alright, here we go, man. I'm gonna just go ahead and squeeze on past these guys here. Or at least that guy, even though he was making a turn. My Madrazo's house is gonna be up here on the right. I'm actually coming up on it. 0.2 miles left. I don't know if I'm gonna pull into his house or not. Actually, I, I am. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in. I'm not gonna wait on these bikers. They shouldn't be up, man. I would, I would have ran them bikers over, man. Y'all wanna be on the road? You're gonna become a road kill, man. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way on up here. La Fuente Blanco. I hope I said that right. I don't even know. I think I said that wrong, though. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. All right, so here we go, man. We done made it to Madrazo's brib. Go ahead and drop this off, man. We're going to get paid, like, 100K for this delivery job. I feel good about myself. Well, for all four, uh, well, dropping out all three, we're going to get paid 100K. So, hold on. I got to back this up, man. We just went on some unlevel ground. Here we go. All right, so let's go to get the first snowmobile unloaded. And I forgot to turn my hazards on. You turn them four ways on, man. Why is my truck off? Jesus, man. Had to turn my truck back on. All right, so let's go to get the Martin snowmobile off. And uh, let's leave it here for his guards that are outside. Hey, bro, I'm dropping this man, Martin, the freaking snowmobile off. Shut up before I have to come and show you my tool. All right, so we got this man, Martin's uh, snowmobile off. I don't know why this man didn't even put a helmet on. Franklin loves how to, knows how to waste his time, man. He knows how to waste his time putting helmets and shit on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave this guy right here. All right, Martin, we're just going to come outside for that. We're going to leave it alone. Look at that, man. See, you're going to take the helmet off, and now you're going to put it back on. Turn them four ways off. All right, so I think we probably could. Let's go ahead and drop off Lester's. Let's go ahead and get that uh, blue one real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and drop off Lester's uh, snowmobile real quick. Before we head out to Trevor's spot, and then we got to drop off Trevor's, I want to definitely go ahead and uh, get Lester's his real quick. Now, you see you see the way I had, the way I had to do these deliveries, man. We got to go up and down Los Santos, man. That's how we doing is up and down Los Santos. We still got two more deliveries to do. And we got two miles before we reach Lester's house. Then we're going to have like four miles until we reach Trevor's house. And then we're going to have three miles until we reach my house. We're about to do some speed. All right. If we get pulled over, we're going to get... Well, I know we're going to get pulled over. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about that. We're, oh, check. Oh, check. Boo! Got the brakes on this thing. Okay. Hold on, let me see, man. Can I just make this right right here? Yes, I can. Okay. I do not feel like going all the way that way. We're going to just make the right right here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think that just made my trip a little shorter, too. I don't know. I might, I might have just not looked at my uh, GPS for a little second. Because I'm seeing 1.6 now, and I just read 1.8 or uh, 1.9. Well, almost two. I read two miles, basically. It was like 1.9. Oh, shit. Bro, what is this bus driver doing? I don't know what this dude behind me is doing. Come on, now you see me and my trailer in the middle of the road. This man trying to be, but that's how Georgia drivers are, man. They try and beat you to everything. I wish the turn signals on the trailer actually worked. That'd be kind of fire. That'd be kind of fire if the turn signals on the trailer actually worked. Only thing that worked on the trailer is the freaking reverse and brake lights. But you know, it is what it is, man. We'll go to make do with what we got, man. It's all good. I'm about to go ahead and get past all these guys right here because I don't know what they got going on. Might have to, we're definitely going to go in and get some more gas, man. This Raptor is a gas guzzler. I'm about to start driving the F 350 for these towing jobs. This gas station right here, too. Sitting at these lights, bro. I'm telling you, man. This is what it takes forever, man. Sitting at these lights. All right, here we 
go. Got that wheat. Oh, damn, boy. What the hell? I'm just burning out. No, well, not even burning out, man. It's the snow. So I'm, I'm just wheel spinning. Going straight for that light. Ain't no coppers around. Okay, we're going to keep on going full speed ahead. Point six miles left. Point six miles left. I'm running over everything, bro. I don't care. Okay, now nah, I care. They put them poles in the middle of the road, but I couldn't run them over. But I could have, but damage to my truck, man. Damage to my truck and damage to the load. That's a no go. That's a no go, man. We gotta go ahead and deliver these snowmobiles like uh like it was nobody's business. I know this man Lester waiting on this blue snowmobile to get there. Oh, we're almost here, man. Look at that. Yo, we kind of got over here kind of quick, too. Okay, I'm going to cut buddy off. Let me turn my turn signals on so he have no choice but to let me over. Ha! Huh? That's how you do it, man. All you got to do is pop up in front of him and then put your turn signals on. They ain't got no choice but to let you over. All right, we're going to make this right. So we're pulling up on Lester's house now. Yo, my game just went back to the blizzard weather again. I wish I could make it to where that didn't um, actually do it like that. Like, if you guys can tell, man, it's like it, it makes it too noticeable that it's going from blizzard weather to regular weather. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get to Lester's uh, snowmobile off this guy. He got this blue one right here. So we need to go ahead and get that unloaded. So, then, so we can go ahead and dip, drop off Trevor's, and then we're going to be done. All right, so we got uh, Lester's snowmobile off this guy, man. Got the blue one off. Let's go ahead and get it uh, into his little driveway here. Oh, damn, it's looking like he got the power to even push it up. There we go. All right, so Lester has his snowmobile now. Let's go ahead and finish up. We're almost done with the work day, bro. Like, we literally got one more delivery left, and then we can go home. We'll be completely done. It's 722 in game. Let's go ahead and make our way on over there, man. All right, man. I actually want to go ahead and unfreeze my weather real quick. I don't think I actually have my weather frozen. Yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way out to uh, Trevor's house. It's the last house we got to go to. And then uh, we're done. I believe that's, it. that's where his house is located at. It should be right there. I'm pretty sure it's right. I'm 99% sure it's right there. Or is it right here? I don't know. We'll, we'll see once we get down there. Pretty sure it's right there, though. So, you see, like I said, man, we got four miles until we get to this man Trevor's house to drop off his orange snowmobile. Do I still got my hazard on? I see a turn signal on. Yeah, my turn signal's on, but I can't turn it off for some reason. Oh, that's a hazard. All right, there we go. I got them off now. I got them off. <laughs> Had the hazards on, man. It didn't even look like the other side, the left side, didn't look like it was flashing. I only seen the right side flashing. All right, here we go, man. 3.5 miles until we get to uh, Trevor's house to drop off his snowmobile. So it's going to take us a second, man, to actually get there. Let me go ahead and we're gonna get ready to make this right turn coming up. All right, here we go, man. My game's actually starting to freeze frame a little bit now. Yo, my game, yo, this guy's looking mad orange. Damn, I ain't never seen my GTA looking like this. But then again, I rarely play my game when it gets this dark, so yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why. All right, man, we gotta sit by these lights. That's a van right there that we could actually steal for some drugs. I already know we're not gonna be able to squeeze through here and the light just changed green anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like I was in this lane. You know what I mean? Take up their whole lane. We could actually take some nice vehicles to the drag strip now with this uh, trailer too. And by that I mean like the drag vehicles. I remember before in the older episodes we was actually using a flatbed to take those drag vehicles around. We actually got a trailer and stuff that we can use now. And we need some gas. Oh shit, I should not have hopped on the highway before getting gas. Oh damn. Yeah, we're going to need to stop right here and get some gas. We're down to a quarter tank of gas, yo. I don't know how I just goofed that up and forgot all about gas. 
Again. Look the fuck out. Nope. Oh, he got out with a strap. I can't even shoot, bro. All right, all right. Hold on my way, boy. All right, now that crash. Now I'm gonna let y'all know what just happened. I tried to get on the curb like I just did right there, but the truck wouldn't get on the curb. It just rolled the curb. So I was literally like, hey, I'm gonna see if I can do it again. It was literally just riding the curb like this, and I couldn't like turn it over to get on the curb. Yeah, it, it actually just did it for a split second right there. I gotta rate this. Yep, gotta make this left. All right, we gotta get to this gas station. See, my little speedometer just told me, yeah, fuel level is low. You need some gas. Now, you know, we've been at 100% gas usage the whole time we're driving in this uh, truck, which is why we always need to refill it, especially since we're always going slow, too, and it just got mad dark. Let's turn them high beams on. I really wish I could turn them lights up top on. I don't know why I can't do that right now. We'll turn them high beams on. All right, so here's the gas station right here. Gotta wait until these dudes get out of my way. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull on in. Let's get this gas tank filled up. Here we go, man. Get the gas tank filled up. All right, I might as well go ahead and add our money for the job as well. We're getting paid 100 k for these deliveries, so... Quick little hundred K dropped in my wallet. Okay, dropped in my wallet. Now let's go ahead and make these last couple of deliveries. Straight cut, buddy, y'all. All right, there we go. We got 2.8 miles until we get out to Trevor's house to make the final delivery. Oh, damn. That could have ended badly. I'm going to try and go full speed ahead to get to Trevor's house, man. Because we've been doing a lot of driving. But then again, that's that's the life of a delivery driver, man. This is what they, See, I just, it just happened again. I almost ran into that car because the curb wouldn't let me hop the curb. Look at that. There we go. I'm going to start just not, not doing that, man. I'm going to just go around, folks. So we're going to try and go full full speed ahead now. Try and get down to Trevor's spot. 2.3 miles to left. Doing 70 miles an hour. Yeah, we're pretty good, man. We should be able to make it down here without any issues whatsoever. And I, I remember, I was actually looking back at the comments on the uh, episode where we bought the uh, two dirt bikes and the quad. If you guys did see that episode, make sure you have seen it. If you haven't, you might want to go ahead and check it out. Because that video has been booming for your boy lately. So uh, make sure you guys have seen that guy. But... Most of you guys were saying that I should drive faster in that episode, man. I'm driving as fast as I can. Throttle is fully down. I can't go no faster. I'm towing. Like, what, what do you guys... You guys expect me to go 300 miles an hour towing. Like, come on now. Jeez. Like, look at this. This is the top speed this Raptor can go with a trailer on the back of it. It's going to slowly climb, all right? We're, we were just doing 80, but then that, that gear change just made us go down to 77. Now we're doing 81. This is as fast as I can go. I might go ahead and uh, change my game time because it, it is pretty dark. And I know how you guys feel about the, in, the really dark in-game time. So I may go ahead and uh, change my in-game time. Make it like 5 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that right now really quick. We'll go ahead and make it like 5 a.m. or something like that. There we go. We'll make it 4.30. 4.30 is all right. What the fuck? Bro, I'm sleep. I'm telling you, bro. AI drivers, man. Bullshit. Oh, we might have to do some off-roading, too. There's some snow on the, mo on the mountain. Okay. Some snow on that mountain, man. You need some snow at the top of the mountain instead of the bottom. I don't know how you have snow at... How you have snow at the bottom of the mountain, but not the top? When it's supposed to be colder, the higher, the higher you go. Bro, I'm sleep. Then we got, we, we riding behind this dude doing 30 miles an hour in a 70 zone. <laughs> oh, man, about time. Golly, man. Even my Raptor doesn't go that slow. Let's go ahead and get on over here. See, we're going off-roading with the Raptor in the snow on some dirt. Just to get to uh, Trevor's house, which is, uh, like, right here. We made it, finally. We can make this last drop off real quick. Here we 
go make sure we can actually. And my game crashes. How about that? Well, you know, with that being said, man, I think this would be a good point to go ahead and drop the episode off because then all I would have had to do was drive back to my house. So. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. I have no idea what crashed it. I, I might have an idea what just might have crashed my game just then, which is why I'm just going to end it off now because it's going to crash my game more often. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on out.